We are here in the Philippines and we have our guest today. He is humanitarian Yank Berry. So what's your main purpose coming to the Philippines? My main purpose coming to the Philippines is really, really to help them. Our um, Asian Goodwill Ambassador for Global Village is Manny Pacquiao. I am proud to be the Asian Goodwill Ambassador for Global Village Champions Foundation. I'm glad to be working with him you know, as a Global Village Champion. This is basically solely a Global Village Champion project. It's for the Pablo victims. It, it was a devastating typhoon. Philippines is always hit with, with typhoons and hurricanes and floods. This one, this one here really, really had a, a devastating effect on the country. I don't think the world understands the, the long-term effects of the devastation that happened here. We had a meeting several days ago with the U.S. ambassador to the Philippines and got a report and they're, they're saying that it's going to take eight to ten years to recover. So we're really focusing on helping the victims, sending the message out that the Philippines needs help. You know, the long-term effects here, how can we help them? We're coming back in 60 days with an additional two million meals, which we'll be distributing with Manny and some of the local new Global Village, global village champions here in the Philippines. It's, it's ongoing. You know, a lot of what we do around the world is ongoing. What makes a Global Village champion? We have Global Village champions, Global Village corporate champions, Global Village philanthropic champions. They bring an awareness because they are a celebrity. Their heart being in the right place, obviously. We have a lot of applications from celebrities from around the world, but we don't accept them all. Their heart's got to be in the right place. They can't give money, but they've got to give their time. Yank, you're the man. This guy is just giving so much. He's just opening his heart like the way we should all act. And he's not only giving his money. You're giving your time, you're giving your heart, your soul. If I can do something with the music I do, with anything, physically here asking for uh, a piece of this village, um, I want to be part of you. Everybody should take him as, a, as an example. Yank Barry amazes me because here he is, a, uh, here Yank Barry is a lay person who doesn't have to even care about us, who doesn't have to even worry about our needs and not even of our religion, and he does not take any of this into account. He just takes into account we are children, uh, handicapped children in need. And he has really been magnanimous in his support and his uh, efforts. And when I see it, the effort he's exerting now, moving around, never stopping, I am really and truthfully uh, elated and also very edified that he, who has not consecrated his life to Christ like I did, could do so much. So it gives me the impetus to do even more now. You all know that this is a four-time heavyweight champion of Vander Holyfield. <laughs> but I want to tell you something. This is a four-time world champion in feeding people around the world. Yank Barrett, so he deserves a lot of credit. So what are your goals for 2013? In 2013, we're going to hit that magic one billion mark. Hunger among the world's children. And this exclusive look at Ali's greatest crusade is the Entertainment Tonight cover story. But when Muhammad Ali stepped off the plane, there was no sign of weariness or fatigue. The cheering throng that greeted him on his mission of mercy saw to that. E.T. was at his side as he arrived with relief organization Global Village Champions as it brought emergency food and medical supplies to a rural orphanage. I was told there's a problem here. And I'm here to do all I can to help. By providing food and medicine for the next six months, Ali's visit here made a real difference. That, says Ali's Global Village partner, Yank Berry, is what the champ now lives for. Muhammad believes that every time he signs an autograph, every time he kisses a child, every time he feeds someone, it's going to help him go to heaven. And while his voice may be hushed and his movement slowed, all one need do is look in the eyes of this champion to know that he has found heaven already. A billion mills in the next uh, 10 or 15 years I don't think people took us too seriously, but they're taking us really seriously now. How did you and Ali start this program? Mohammed was a spokesperson for Vitapro, for my for-profit company, which is in 57 countries around the world. Mohammed has always been an incredible, he's been my inspiration. He's been an incredible humanitarian, even while he was boxing. He always cared. And Ali and I talked about it 21 years ago. We started talking about feeding kids. By mistake, I ended up in the food business, you know, from rock and roll to sports management to, to food. Now we had a vehicle. We had a great product that was high in nutrition, that had tremendous shelf life called Vitapro, and we started donating it. I made a deal with God. Whatever I would have paid in taxes, I'm going to give to kids now. And I started doing that, and it started becoming contagious. Both you and Ali have fed a lot of people in the world. Yeah, we have. He's not able to travel the way he used to. Now Evander Holyfield has taken over as our Goodwill Ambassador, but it's always, it's always going to be Ali. After knowing you for the past week, 
You have a beautiful heart, and I think what you're doing is a great thing. You deserve the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> I nominate you. Well, I've also heard that you were nominated by Governor Chavez Singson and Manny Pacquiao for the Nobel Peace Prize for 2013. I am proud to have officially nominated Mr. Young Berry for the 2013 Nobel Peace Prize. I, I was very, very surprised. It, it, it might have been momentum carrying over from last year's nominations. It, feel, it feels really good. That's, that's not why I'm doing it. Well, this is the second year they've actually nominated you. Yeah, I was nominated last year by president of the Arbitration Court of Bulgaria. My name is Kristiana Valcheva. I'm one of the five Bulgarian nurses and Palestinian doctors who were unjustly convicted to death by the Gaddafi regime in Tripoli, Libya in 2004. From 1999, we were put in a jail awaiting trial. Through June of 2007, we remained in prison under unimaginable conditions. We were tortured and treated like animals and we spent eight and a half years in prison. We were finally released due to tremendous pressure from the free world applied to the Gaddafi regime. I'm very proud to have been named a global village champion. We would like also to thank young Barry for his tireless effort and numerous trips to Tripoli negotiating on our behalf with Muammar Gaddafi and Saif al Islam Gaddafi, including his numerous trips to our prison. We are looking forward to helping the needy here in Bulgaria, including Muslim refugees presently in Bulgarian refugee camps to show the world that people can turn the other cheek. They are now feeding Syrian refugees. It's ironic. They're just incredible people. Many, many, many head-to-head -head meetings with Gaddafi. He liked to be called leader. I said, leader, I'm a Canadian Jew begging you for the lives of five Christian nurses and a Palestinian doctor. Do the right thing. You know, they, they could not have spread AIDS. You know that you know, set them free. And he did. You know, that is such a great feeling to be able to help people. Now that I've made a couple of bucks in my career, Vitapro being the leader in soy, we're the largest finished soy product in the world, we can afford to do it at a much higher level. So it's just a higher level now and more of a priority. Also making a deal with, with the big guy up there. The nicest thing Ali ever said to me is we were in the Ivory Coast. We were handing out toys to these amputee children. And he leaned over, he said, I'm, I'm going to see you in heaven because he's going there. It feels good to make a difference. Forget about the bragging rights. The bragging rights aren't important. I get so many calls now, and so many emails. Wow, you're nominated for Nobel. And, but, you know, it's nice. That's not what it's all about. You have a very beautiful heart, and I think you're going to be contributing a lot to this world. And I'm very honored to have you here in the Philippines, feeding the Philippines. We, we, we have shipped 19 containers in the last four years to the Philippines. This year, we will be able to put our Global Village flag that we've had a day without hunger in the Philippines because we will have fed the entire population over a period of time, but, but we've done it. And we've done it without a donation. We've done it without, without anybody's help, other, other than local support of champions who help us distribute. Can you just name us some of the few people or celebrities that are part of the Global Village Champions? Historically, the first one was Ali, obviously. Then Gary U.S. Bonds was our second. Celine Dion was our third. You know, it's, it's easy to remember at the beginning, Ace, because, it was, wow, we, got, we have somebody else as a champion when we didn't even have a name. Like Celine says in her, in her video piece, I want a piece of this village. A piece of this village? That was where village came from. Then it was Global Village. Then it was Global Village Champions. Michael Jordan came on. Uh, John Voigt. Benny King, Stand By Me. Great athletes. Eric Dickerson, one of the greatest running backs of all time. Evander Holyfield. I'm here because of Yank Berry. And there's always people that come into your life. I hear the story of how Yank got to meet Ali and how they came together. And it's pretty much the same thing. You know, I wasn't looking for nobody. All of a sudden, they told me about Yank. Lennox Lewis, Snoop Dogg, they, but they're, they're proud to be Global Village Champions. If somebody wanted to help and do the same thing that you're doing to give that cause, where can they go? I mean, how, how can someone say, hey, I love what Yank Berry's doing too. I want to be a Global Champion or I want to donate. Yeah, it's a great question. We finally opened a bank account. We're a registered 501c3 in the United States. A little bit of bragging. We were the great nonprofit of 2012 out of 1.3 million 
and charities around the world, which was, which was a great honor for, for all of the champions because it was really all of their contribution and that joint effort that got us there. It had, I, I was a small part of that. We realized, Ace, is there's just so much I can do with, with my money. 900 million meals is a big number. In the big picture, it's not even, we didn't even scratch the surface. Are there any other organizations that are doing what you're doing yet? Rotary's been wonderful. You know, Rotary is around the world. CARE, wonderful agency with the Bahamas and the Haitian Red Cross. Universal Aid Society has been sensational. Her name is Shirley Gremyachev, a nonprofit that's specifically specialized in forwarding. What does that mean? We have a container of food, Ace. A big part of that cost is shipping that food to the country it has to go to. That's where Universal Aid becomes a superstar, and they, they have shipped so many containers for us at no cost. They find the donors, they do it. So Shirley's been a superstar. And, and our new kids on the block are Jeunesse Kids. When, Wendy Lewis and Randy Ray, wonderful people, who said, hey, we, we want to make a difference. We want to become part of Global Village. They were involved in our Christmas in January, feeding the homeless in, in the United States with the, with the St. Vincent de Paul Society. And they're heavily involved here in the Philippines with us. They're, they're getting very involved with us in China with Yao Ming, um, feeding the orphans of China. We're looking to the public to get involved with us now. Become a global villager. Go to our website, gogbc.com or globalvillagechampions.org. Make a contribution because where we're different is every single dime is going to the needy. There will be not one cent of administration. All of my employees and executives that work for my for-profit companies donate 20% of their time to Global Village. None of our champions have ever been paid for what they do. So join us, you know, become, become a Global Villager. Become your own champion. Uh, pick the country you want us to, to help in and, and, and we'll do it, we'll deliver. You'll see the videos, you'll see the documentation, you'll see the field reports from the local NGOs. It goes to the needy. Help us, it's the first time we're asking for help. You're doing a great thing for humanity. I think God will really be blessing you as what Ali had said about that he's gonna see you in heaven. And we need more people like you. A day without hunger. Thank you, Ace. There we go, folks. If you wanna give, go to the website. It's www.globalvillagechampions.org or for the shortcut, gogvc, globalvillagechampions.com. Gogvc.com. And donate and help a good cause. Feel good. Yane Barry and I and all our Global Village Champions are going to knock out world hunger.